Regarded as the foremost military treatise, Sun Tzu's The Art of War consists of only 13 chapters, totaling 6,000 characters. In the first chapter of The Art of War, Sun Tzu presents a resounding motto, All warfare is based on deception. While this statement encapsulates his profound military wisdom, it has sparked criticism from many later generations who find it lacking in benevolence and righteousness. So, how should we interpret the phrase, all warfare is based on deception? What historical significance does it carry? And how does Sun Tzu succinctly summarize this viewpoint? In today's video, I will delve into how to correctly interpret this phrase. In the Laying Plans section of The Art of War, the complete explanation for this statement is as follows. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must seem inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make him believe we are near. Hold out baits to entice the enemy feign disorder, and crush him. If he is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. If he is taking his ease, give him no rest. If his forces are united, separate them. Attack him where he is unprepared, appear where you are not expected. These military devices, leading to victory, must not be divulged beforehand. On the surface, this term deception indeed appears to carry the meaning of cheating, and it may come across as having malicious intent, making it difficult for many to accept. After all, from a young age, we are taught to value honesty and not to lie, and deception is viewed as an unethical behavior. Thus, there arises a question, since lying is deemed undesirable, why does Sun Tzu advocate for deception, even dedicating twelve chapters to the discussion of tactics involving deceit? Consequently, many later critics accuse him of lacking benevolence and righteousness. However, I believe that deception is not synonymous with cheating, but rather closer to adaptation or change dynamic adjustment. After all, within the context preceding this statement, we encounter the following insight. According as circumstances are favorable, one should modify one's plans. In this context, circumstances refers to the application of wisdom to create conditions favorable to one's actions. Favorable signifies the creation of advantageous conditions based on objective circumstances. Plans indicates adopting flexible and adaptive actions and strategies according to the situation. Collectively, these points convey an idea, adjusting plans flexibly based on favorable circumstances. In this light, it is possible to interpret deception in all warfare is based on deception as not simply about cheating, but more as a form of intelligent adaptation and nimble response in the realm of strategic wisdom. Let's consider an everyday example. Imagine you go to buy vegetables, and the vendor places them on a scale to weigh them. After weighing, they inform you of the price, and once you make the payment, the transaction is complete. From this example, we can see that circumstances is a dynamic process, adapting in response to the changing weight of the goods. The presence of the vegetables remains constant, representing favorable. The scale displays information based on the dynamic weight of the goods, embodying the concept of plans. Applying this example to the realm of warfare, we can perceive that a commander's battle plan similar to purchasing vegetables, must adapt according to the situation with the enemy, comparable to the vegetables. Once the objectives of the battle are determined, the commander must employ tactics, similar to the scale, that adjust based on the changing circumstances presented by the enemy. Thus, we can recognize that the essence of this phrase lies in change, 
which forms the fundamental premise of deception. Only through understanding this concept can we truly grasp the meaning of deception, making everything clearer and more distinct. Let's examine a historical battle example from China's Sui dynasty. This story recounts the tale of General Yu Zhongwen attacking Yu Qi Jiang. Yu Qi Jiang had a sizable force, while Yu Zhongwen chose to launch a surprise attack after a long and arduous march, catching his opponent off guard. Conventional wisdom suggested that Yu Zhongwen should allow his soldiers ample rest, as the enemy awaited fatigue while his own forces were weary and disadvantaged. Yu Zhongwen's subordinates even proposed resting for a night before taking action. However, Yu Zhongwen insisted on an immediate attack. Unexpectedly, he emerged victorious. His subordinates were greatly surprised, as the army had undertaken a long journey and should, in theory, have rested. Initiating battle immediately would have almost certainly led to defeat. Yet, the outcome was quite the opposite. When questioned, Yu Zhongwen explained, Our soldiers all hail from Shandong, and people from Shandong share a common trait, decisiveness and a straightforward approach. They do not favor prolonged engagements but strive for swift, decisive battles. I recognized this aspect and fully utilized it, which ultimately led to our victory. His explanation earned him widespread admiration, as Yu Zhongwen astutely harnessed the characteristic of Shandong soldiers, a feature rooted in objective reality, and transformed it into a pivotal element of the battle strategy, ultimately securing victory. This battle account illustrates the concept of, according as circumstances are favorable, one should modify one's plans, where decisions are based on objective environmental conditions. This demonstrates that deception is not about cheating, but rather adopting diverse changes in different situations to create an advantageous circumstance. Therefore, it possesses tremendous flexibility and adaptability. In reality, this principle is equally applicable. Consider the objectives of businesses, which aim to achieve profitability. However, the path to profitability, the means of earning money, demands profound wisdom. Relying on deception is unsustainable, as once exposed, it will inevitably lead to being phased out by the market. So, what approach should one adopt? It involves continuously adjusting business methods based on shifts in the market and changes in consumer psychology. Producing goods that cater to their needs is crucial. The methods must be adaptable and the flexibility must be robust. If a company remains unchanging and insists on going against the current of global trends, the likely outcome is closure. In conclusion, deception is not about cheating, but refers to the versatile methods employed in different contexts to adapt to the environment and ultimately achieve victory. Thank you, dear viewers, for tuning in. In our next video, I will delve deeper into the historical significance of all warfare is based on deception, unveiling the wisdom concealed within this statement. Whether in warfare or daily life, it holds remarkable practical value. If you're intrigued by this topic, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to this channel, so you don't miss out on the upcoming insightful content. Also, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section as we embark on this shared exploration. Thank you all for your support.